Hey there guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I am going to show you how you can get a Victor and Shadow Beak. And one thing I want to point out too, if you have a look at the health of this particular one that I've got here, it's 421,000 plus. So this is incredibly high. I captured this guy with a party of uh, four. I was in a party of four. So the more people who have stacked into this party doing this little uh, trick or glitch, I guess you could say, the higher the health is going to be of Victor and Shadow Beak. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how you can do this. Um, I'm doing it solo. So obviously the health is going to be a lot less because it scales when you do the dungeon uh, with him in it. So we're going to get right into it and show you how to do it. So what what I've done is I've come across to the uh, let's have a look on the map just to show you the settlement there are a few different ways you can do this the settlement's probably just one of the easiest everybody knows where it is what you want to do is you want to become wanted and you want these guys the PIDF officers to chase you so we want to just um, just you know uh, criminal activity the other way so we've been spotted so we want him to come close to us and then we're gonna teleport to this location up here which if you haven't got it open already is minus 137 or 68 now once you're here you want to wait a few seconds and make sure that he has followed you so sometimes they don't follow you and you will need to do it again I'm still wanted which is good because sometimes you'll jump in here oh there he is down there so we'll just see if he makes his way up here it's good to get close to the guy so he chases you here he comes all right so we want him to chase us when we don't want him to get too far away so it's probably a bit steep there for him to climb up maybe here he comes so we'll um just tap him a little bit to keep him interested Now the trick is getting him to follow you can be a little bit of a trick on this terrain. So here he comes, I think, maybe. All right, I think we got him over that little glitch. Now we want him to come down this hill to this temple, or whatever you want to call it. And you just want to keep him interested without killing him. This is probably one of the hardest bits of this. It's just getting him to follow you down here. You want him as close to this as you can. These guys are incredibly buggy at the moment. So he's not even trying to get me. Helps if you move around a little bit. Here he comes. All right, here we go. We just, all right, he's got a gun out now, which is good. We do need him to have the gun out when he goes in. That's important as well. We want him closer. We want him to get down here. So, and like I said, you can the more people you've got in your party when you do this, the better it's going to be. So we'll get him to come a bit closer, just to guarantee him coming in. If you can get him up into this area here, it makes a big difference. See if I can drag him over a little bit further. Oh, look, we'll give this a go. He, he He's close enough. He just... Um, I'll tap him one more time and just see if he comes a bit closer. Oh, look, we're going to try it there. He doesn't seem to be wanting to get any closer. Sometimes I'll come right in here and sometimes they won't. But essentially, he just has to be in the area. So I could try just running a little bit further this way and see if he follows me down. Yeah, here we go. We got a little bit farther. All right, this is where we want him. We want it as close to this as we can. So we're going to start this now. So by pressing F. And as soon as we get the option to join the battle. All right, here we go. Now 
Now you want to skip this as fast as possible. Now you're going to know if it's work is in here. You want to get on the opposite side to him because we want him to shoot the bird. So he's back at full health again. And hopefully we just need to avoid the bird. And we'll know it's worked because the, the bird will glitch out. He hasn't shot the bird yet, which is a shame. And you can use standard balls for this. Just, we just need to get him to shoot the bird, which is proving quite difficult at the moment. Well, looks. I'll just tap him again. All uh, right. So hopefully. Well, he's not being very cooperative. We do need him to shoot the bird, and that can be... Alright, alright, he's starting to shoot now, so... The trick is going to be staying alive. Alright, here we go. The bird, now that it's facing the guard. All right, there we go, he hit the bird. So we want to, we'll give it a go here, but there we go, done. So, so long as you you see that hit, you have now caught him, and you can just you can get rid of this guy if you want to. And essentially, the only way to get out of here now is just to commit, uh, I guess what I call hurry curry and kill yourself, uh, because unless you wait for the timer, this server I'm on, I don't lose my gear, which is good. But um, so check your server settings, make sure that you can do this and kill yourself. If not, wait for the time to end and you'll just get kicked out. But let's have a look. Uh, we can't actually look at the moment. Let's run back to my base, have a look at what we did get and we can then just uh, work out what the health difference is with just one person. Okay, we are back at my base and you can see here, we, this is the one that we just caught. Uh, it's a male. Now, it doesn't get any passive skills, so just better than mine, but you can see his health is 200,000. Uh, the bird that I had uh, before is this one, and this one is a male also, and again, no passive skills, uh, and he had 400,000. So extra three people basically doubled the health, and it does rank on their level as well. I'm level 50 at the moment. But you can, you can change these. He's got some pretty good skills in here. Just remember, he is dark. So if you wanted to change this up, you can just change these um, and make make him as powerful as you want. I think it's going to be the best one. So you can see there, his attack is 850. And let's go back and have a look at the guy we caught. Again, dark. So we can, again, change these up. And he's, let's have a look. Yep. And there you go, done. Uh, so I hope this guys was helpful and it's just an easy way of cheesing or glitching the Victor and Shadow Beak and getting this guy on your team. He's pretty much invincible with that kind of health, 200,000 health. And like I said, you can change these things up. Obviously, he has no Pappy skills anyway. So if you change these to ice or neutral, it's not it's going to be of benefit to you no matter what but, you know, boss you're fighting against. So again, hit that like button. This was helpful and consider subscribing for more Pal World content. And this is Wombat out. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.